And yeah, Clark Forest had a problem. And one of the things the trustees had done very, very intelligently was to hire Gary Leofonte as an outreach youth worker. And first thing that I felt had to be done is to open up a meeting to the public. And I sent out notices to every single organization that we had in town. I didn't want any surprises. I didn't want any organization to say, I don't like what you're doing. I wanted it to be up front. And I think it was that up front that we never ever had the criticism that other communities had. Mm -hmm. um, Gary and I went to a lot of other places. Any place that had a community center, that had a youth center, uh, that had any kind of a drop-in coffee house, we wanted to get their feedback. Um, there was an organization, I think it's still in existence in Chicago, um, The Bridge, um, mm -hmm. and they had a lot of problems. They had a lot of problems with neighbors. Uh, they were not wanted in the community. So we were trying to do everything we can to stop that kind of a problem. Uh, we started as a drop-in center, we had a hotline, we had a coffee shop, and it just evolved. Mm -hmm. And I still laugh because when I gave my first report, when we were still just in our infancy, I said, one of these days, Aunt Martha is going to be an employment agency, it's going to be a health uh, drop-in center, it's going to be foster homes, and I gave them a whole list, and somebody said to me, what are you smoking? <laughs> <laughs>